Have you ever pondered over the deeper meanings hidden within the biblical narratives? Consider the intriguing tale of Jacob, the patriarch who wrestles with a mysterious figure by the Jabbok River. This event, as recounted in Genesis 32, 22, 32 is more than a physical struggle. It's a metaphysical ballet that resonates with seekers across centuries. As dawn breaks, Jacob, left with a lasting limp, insists on a blessing from his celestial adversary. In response, the figure bestows upon him a new identity, Israel, a man who grapples not only with people, but also with God. But what if we told you there's more to this story? What if the wrestle isn't just with an external entity, but also within the self? What if the place of this cosmic wrestling match is not merely a geographical location, but a metaphysical realm? Join us as we delve into the metaphysical implications of this intriguing tale. Genesis 32, 22. 32 is more than a tale of a patriarch's struggle. It's a journey of transformation. Jacob, once a cunning deceiver, wrestles with an enigmatic figure until the break of dawn. This struggle isn't merely physical, it's metaphysical, occurring in the cosmic wrestling ring of our consciousness. Jacob's adversary touches his hip, leaving him with a permanent limp, a mark of his transformation. And yet Jacob persists, demanding a blessing from his unseen opponent. In this moment, Jacob evolves from a man of deception to one who wrestles with both God and humanity. His new name, Israel, is not simply a title, but a testament to his spiritual evolution. This wrestling match, this battle within the self, is not confined to Jacob alone. It's a universal struggle, a cosmic wrestling match we all must face. The wrestling match signifies an inner struggle, a battle within the realm of consciousness. The biblical term Peniel represents more than a geographical location. In the mystical journey of understanding, Peniel is seen as the innermost core of human consciousness. Far beyond the confines of physical space, it is the metaphysical realm where the material and spiritual worlds converge. Here, the veil that separates the seen and unseen is at its thinnest, making it the perfect stage for a divine encounter. In this metaphysical realm, the wrestling match takes on a new dimension. It is not merely a physical struggle, but a spiritual contest, a dance of shadows and light within our own consciousness. It is in the penial where we grapple with our deepest fears, our greatest hopes, our most profound questions. It is where we wrestle with our spiritual selves, with the divine mysteries that lie within us. The penial is where we wrestle with our spiritual selves, where we encounter the divine. Could the pineal gland, revered as the third eye, be the actual location of Jacob's wrestling match? This question invites us to consider a fascinating parallel between the pineal and the pineal gland a tiny pinecone-shaped organ tucked away in the depths of our brain. In mystical traditions, the pineal gland is often regarded as the third eye, a symbolic portal to higher states of awareness. From ancient sages to modern seers, this enigmatic gland has been associated with spiritual insight, inner illumination, and profound transformation. Renowned philosopher René Descartes even called the pineal gland the seat of the soul, suggesting its central role in our spiritual lives. Could this be the metaphysical realm where Jacob wrestled with the divine? Could the pineal gland be the inner sanctuary where we too grapple with our deeper selves, seeking enlightenment beyond the physical world? The pineal gland could well be the gateway to higher consciousness, the arena of our spiritual wrestling matches. The allegorical interpretation of Genesis 32, 22, 32 offers a fresh perspective on our spiritual journey. We've revisited Jacob's nocturnal wrestling match, not as a literal event, but as a symbolic dance of transformation within the sacred realm of the pineal. This metaphysical arena, resonating with the pineal gland, or the third eye, becomes a portal to higher consciousness and a point of divine encounter. By wrestling with the divine, Jacob transforms from a deceiver to a spiritual seeker, a transition mirrored in our own spiritual progression. Supporting this interpretation, we've navigated verses from Genesis, Matthew and Luke, all shedding light on the inner vision and the spiritual illumination that comes from a healthy, awakened, third eye. The journey within is a journey towards light, towards enlightenment. In the story of Jacob, we find an invitation to wrestle with the divine, to seek enlightenment beyond the physical, and to embrace our own spiritual transformation. 